Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be covering a topic from Cambridge IGCSC Biology, the topic of characteristics and uh, classification of living organisms and this is a section from the subtopic features of organisms. So in this video we are going to be covering the section on dichotomous keys. So what is a dichotomous key? A dichotomous key is used, is something that is used to identify organisms based on a series of questions about their features. So basically, this is how a dichotomous key works. Let's imagine you have a bunch of organisms and you want to identify one of them. A dichotomous key is a scientific tool that would take you through a series of questions and ultimately help you identify the organism that you picked out. So, when we say dichotomous key, it's called dichotomous because the term di refers to two, right? Dichotomous means you are given two descriptions at a time and you are asked to choose the most appropriate description for your organism. So, let's imagine we're trying to to identify a particular organism. We're given two descriptions at a time and we need to choose the suitable description. So once chosen, once you have chosen your answer, each choice then leads the user onto another two descriptions. So basically, a dichotomous key is simply a series of questions that you need to answer. And ultimately, once you come to the final two descriptions, then you choose the final answer that is going to lead you to the identity of your organism. So in order to successfully navigate a key, this is what you need to do. You need to pick a single organism to start with and follow the statements from the beginning until you find the name. So that's a lot of theory that's going on here that I just mentioned. So let's take a look at an actual dichotomous key to see exactly how it works. So given here is a simple dichotomous key um, that includes a few animals, as you see. So like I mentioned earlier, the purpose of a dichotomous key is to identify an unknown organism. So let's imagine that there is an organism that looks like this. There's an organism that looks like this. And let's imagine that we don't know the identity of this organism. So we're trying to figure out and identify what this organism is. And we have over here a dichotomous key that is going to help us identify this organism. So let's take a look at this dichotomous key. You have to always start your key from right at the top over here. So this is a vertebrate animal and you see this is our first, this is this, our first set of descriptions. Whether our animal has fur or whether it has no fur. So we look at our organism and we can see that this organism does not have fur. So we choose this answer. And once this answer is chosen, this is leading us to another set of descriptions whether this animal has feathers or no feathers. So once again, we observe our animal and we see that it has no feathers. So this is the answer we choose for this set of descriptions. And once this answer is chosen, this is leading us to yet again another set of descriptions, whether our animal is having dry skin or moist skin. So once again, we go back to our animal and we look at it and we notice that it has moist skin. So we choose this option. And then we come to the final set of descriptions, whether our animal has scales or no scales. So we observe our animal and we see, hey, it does have scales. So this is the answer for this and this is leading us to the identity of our organism so we have now identified our organism as a fish through this dichotomous key so it's pretty simple right this is how you navigate through a di dichotomous key and ultimately we have identified the unknown organism as a fish so 
that's simply how a dichotomous key works it's not very difficult um it's basically you just need to um choose the correct answer at each stage and that's going to lead you to another two descriptions and from those two descriptions you choose the correct answer once again and this goes on and on until finally you have identified the unknown organism so that's basically the theory of the dichotomous key now let's move on to the uh, let's move on and uh, try out a few questions from our question bank all right so here's our first question our first question is about a flower right the diagram below shows a flower seen from above use the key to identify the flower so let's try to identify this flower using this dichotomous key given here so the first statement of the dichotomous key is about the number of petals in this flower so let's count the number of petals in this flower we can see that there are 1 2 3 4 petals in this flower so the first with regard to the first two descriptions we choose four petals and that says go to two so then we go to the number 2 and number 2 is talking about the number of stamens in this flower so then we look at the number of stamens and let's count the number of stamens we can see that there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 stamens so that leads us to the identity of our organism which is given here as b so there you go that's our answer that we have found through this dichotomous key we have identified this flower as b all right let's try another question so here's our second question this question is about an animal so we're going to use we have this unknown animal over here and we're going to try to identify this animal using this dichotomous key given all right so let's start from the beginning this animal has jointed legs this animal has jointed legs so does it have three pairs of legs or more than three pairs of legs so let's count the number of pairs of legs in this animal we can see it has 1 2 3 and four pairs of legs so that's more than three so we choose this option and then that leads us to another set of descriptions whether it has four pairs of legs or more than four pairs of legs so we we've seen that there are four pairs of legs so that leads us to the organism given by c so that's the answer we found through this dichotomous key we found that this unknown organism is organism c so that's our answer All right, let's try one last question before we wrap up. So, okay, let's try this question over here. Um the figure below shows a part of a flowering plant. Use the key given below to identify the plant. So, this is a part of a plant and we've been given a dichotomous key. We need to use this dichotomous key and identify this particular plant. All right. So, let's start um first two descriptions regarding this plant flower has four petals flower has five petals so let's count the number of petals in this flower we can see that there are 1 2 3 4 5 petals in this flower so this is the option we choose and then after this is chosen this is leading us to another set of descriptions leaves with smooth edges or leaves with jagged edges so let's take a look at the leaves of this flower now we can see that these leaves their edges are definitely not smooth they are jagged edges so that leads us to identify this organism as organism d so that's our answer for this question organism So this is how you run through and navigate a dichotomous key. I hope all of you got a good understanding of this through this video. Stay tuned to our next video. Subscribe us now for more videos and content.